All right, absolutely, Chris. Thanks. Well, some upstate fifth and sixth graders rolling up their sleeves today to complete a goal of feeding 14,000 people. This is all part of the Christchurch Episcopal School's Day of Service. The students packed food bags. They made some handmade cards uh, to make sure families have full bellies this holiday season. And of course, some Christmas cheer. Our Teresa Bowles watched those kids get to work today. She's live in studio to tell us how it all went down. Well, Tori, this is one of the meal bags that students filled and sealed themselves today. A pack like this, an organizer says, can feed six people. And after their hard work, there's definitely well over six people getting a meal. Hear that? That sound means 1,000 meals packed. We have been making these bags of food for a rise of hunger for people who do not like have a lot of food. The Christ Church Episcopal School 5th and 6th graders pour it, weigh it, seal it, and pack it. Then Hay says it's on to the next one. It makes me feel good that I'm like saving people's lives and like helping them. It's all a part of the students' day of service. In collaboration with Rise Against Hunger, this food will go to those affected by natural disasters, including international victims too. It's truly a difference between life and death. Where the meals are going, that may be the only meal they eat that day. Plus, over in the classroom, the students filled bags with a hot chocolate mix, topped them with marshmallows, of course, and decorated them to look like reindeer. That along with a handwritten letter to seal the deal. Those will go to Meals on Wheels and treat bags will go to a soup kitchen. David Thomas Bush says he hopes this will inspire the service to continue as they grow up. They may remember this experience when they're in high school, when they're in college, as young adults. And so that's, that's really what I hope they take away from this. It's a hard day's work that Louise says is worth it because their little hands will make a big difference. We have a different vision and it gives us an advantage than other people because we are getting taught here to help people. And the school's goal was to pack 14,000 meals, Tori, and a representative from CCES tells me the final count, 14,256. So they got it. They got it. Oh, we love it. Great story, Teresa. Thanks.